Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 21st of June 1791, King Louis XVI of France and his family were caught attempting to escape Paris during the flight to Varennes. By the summer of 1791, the royal family had been living in the Tuileries in the heart of Paris for almost two years. They had been forced to move there from the lavish Palace of Versailles after the October days of 1789, and felt as if they were prisoners due to their rapidly declining power. The startling pace of change in France was viewed with alarm by the other monarchies of Europe. This, in turn, led to fear in France that the king himself was conspiring with foreign powers to topple the fledgling revolutionary government. Yet, convinced that he would find more support for his rule in the countryside, on the night of the 20th and the 21st of June 1791, the king only went to reinforce the people's lack of trust in him. In what became known as the Flight to Varennes, Louis and the rest of the immediate royal family fled the Tuileries under the cover of darkness in a plan that had been largely formulated by a Swedish count, Marie Antoinette's favourite, who was also rumoured to be her lover. Disguised to avoid being noticed by the palace guards, the family travelled in a large, heavy coach pulled by six horses. Their slow progress meant that the journey to the eastern frontier took considerably longer than had been anticipated, and soon word of their escape had spread throughout the countryside. In saint Menaud, they were recognised by the local postmaster, who checked the king's likeness against an assignat, a form of paper currency. While the royal party continued their slow progress, the postmaster rode ahead to the next town, Varennes, which lay just 30 miles from the Austrian border. Here, the escapees were arrested and later returned to Paris, the royal reputation in absolute tatters. (laughs) 